Hey everyone. Uh, Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. I come to you live from my very dark room. Yeah, da, da. It's not one thing. Okay, so we have only five hours to deliver this. And as it happens, uh, sorry, let's, let's, let's start from the top. I'm Alfred. I play Morrowind regularly. Uh, this quest requires us to deliver a letter. We got it at the start of last uh, episode, which is why I didn't fill you in on it. Uh, I guess I could read. Uh, deliver a report to Carnius at the fort within the next five hours. So for whatever reason, they made this quest like... They made it to screw you over. I don't know why. I understand that a game is supposed to be difficult. There should be challenge in a game because otherwise there's nothing about it. However, this quest is for whatever reason just designed to make you fail. And again, that's still not that much of a problem because this is a game where you can immediately load or save. It's not as though we're working on save points here, but like... Why do they make it like this? I mean, as though we haven't done enough back and forths between here and this stupid place, you know? But this is absurd. And why would you need five hours to deliver a letter? Are you here to see Carnius? Uh, he's not in, and he'll be disappointed you were unable to deliver that report. He had a busy schedule today. He's at a Brodier Grove looking at sites for expanding Raven Rock. Maybe you can catch him there. And yeah, there's a little trap here that over-encumbers you. So, why is that there? Why would they do that? Because, if you didn't know... Where's the trap? Is it like... Oh, for God. So it's in the rug. What's yeah. this about? Did you want something? Like, I know that, of course, this game has magic and shit in it. Okay, now because it can't be simple, I just have to go, like, find where he is. Let's see here. Northeast of the fort. Southwest of the forest and northwest of Raven Rock. Or northeast of Raven Rock. Well, luckily, all these... I saved, right? Lucky for me, it's night. All of this uh, dickhead's guards are carrying torches, so. Theoretically, that's easier, according to the Wikipedia. Yeah, like, it's not as though, like, travel is immediate. It's just kind of weird that they would be like, look, it has to get here this very second. There cannot be any delay. And if there is a delay, you just, look, there just can't be a delay. 
I'm like, I know that you have to deliver something as soon as you can. <whistles> Got quite the posse chasing me. You're not Carnius, are you? Nope. Oh, Lord. What about you guys? Nope. Rut row. You should pick somebody who doesn't have somewhere to be. Okay, well, I guess he's not there. So, uh, another thing that's really annoying about this quest is that his location is randomly generated. And if you happen to find Carnius before you talk to that guy that tells you you have to go somewhere else to find Carnius, he won't accept the report. There's no option to talk to him about it. Well, I've gone the wrong way. Let me look a little deeper at this wiki. All right. So I didn't go to the first like location in full. So I'm so I went back and did that off screen just because fuck this quest. But I'm going to the next one now. It's just like I know that quests should have difficulty, you know. You shouldn't just be given everything in a game just But like there's not a single part of this that makes sense. And like, if you're doing the, the quest lines with intent to, you know, complete them, then you would, oh, hey, Raven Rock looks pretty nice. If you're doing quest lines with intent to complete them, then like, why would you just accept a failure of the quest, you know? Like, this is a fairly late game quest and you can't retry it. If you fail this quest, then you're expelled from this company and you can't rejoin. Why would they, why? What's the decision? Guys, am I not in tune with this island enough? Is that why the bears attack me, but not the other guys walking around? The other people? God, why? You know, because dying does load your save, but you're never really supposed to die in this game, as opposed to something like Dark Souls, where you are supposed to die, and the game is built around it, and there's a whole bunch of mechanics built around your death. Not to mention lore. But, like, in this game, you're not really supposed to die. And, like, I know that there is lore built around the saving and loading shit, Okay, well, he's not here either. You also only have 10 real world minutes to do this quest. From getting it to now. Just, there's so many strange dishes and de decisions in this. All right. Northeast of Raven Rock, directly north of Fort Frostmouth. Do I remember? Is it just? No. Uh, I don't have a good enough memory for all of the console commands in this game. No for cheating, I guess. So apparently the the thing that um randomly selects where Carnius is is done so at the start of the quest and because my save is after that I'll always have the same one no matter what. Um but I also saved after I got that like letter or after I talked to that guy.
Soul Stone Game of Hidden Music. Neat. Oh, Lord. It's not as though, like... I mean, just what? You know what? I'm just... I'm going to load that save. Sorry, Elberoth, or whatever your name was. And I'm just also going to double check the wiki here. Directly from Fort Frostmouth. <laughs> Maybe I will escape you that easily. Did you consider that? Do I have a stamina spell on me? I could check. This is... Do people talk about this? Because obviously, like... You know... Boomers fucking crack their beers open and they're like, Wow, Morrowind. Now that was a game. You know? And like... Frankly, I do, you know, talk affectionately about this game, but like... This game's a piece of shit. It just is really good. <laughs> what a statement to make. These are long runs you have to make, too. I'm just gonna check where Brodeo Grove is. Uh, brother. It's not directly north. I... I don't know how well this... Haha. -ha. I'm smarter than pigs. I think so, at least. Has anyone ever made a pig said an IQ test? Because that'd be funny. I wonder how you do it. I guess you could have them, like, push on things with their hooves. Like those, um... Those, like, big buttons that all say stuff. Like, every button is a different word. Hmm. There's one of these things that is like... Oh, that's invisible. That's nice. Useless to me now, maybe. Hmm. Oh, yeah, my sweaty pants. Why would they design it like this? Come on, guys. Like, because obviously the problem, I don't know if the problem is the time limit, but maybe the problem is like that we're doing yet another back and forth between Fort Frostmouth and Raven Rock. Like, because all of the other like things that you do in this game are killing and fighting gods and you know, we've really left this kind of, like, drudgery behind, you know? This sort of, you know, dumb, like, running errands, you know? You you haven't been the, the Emperor's errand boy for a while, and, like, your quests aren't this mundane and boring even at the very start of the game. Like, the stuff that Kaya sends you to do is cooler than this. And, like... Caius is sending you to go get his laundry and go get a report, like, go pick up a book from the library for him, and like, Caius does not send you to do cool stuff. At the start, at least. But, like, most people would probably be doing this after they had played Morrowind in general. You know, whether or not they made a new character, they would still be doing this on you know, after a proper playthrough. And in my case, I'm doing it after. So it makes no sense that this character, who is, you know, a god slayer and is 
the strongest, most unkillable thing in the province and surrounding areas would even be doing errands to begin with. And it makes no sense that it would be like written that way, but that's what we're doing. We're just running errands now. And like, this isn't like, it's called the empire shipping company or whatever the hell it's called. East empire. But like, wait, who are you? Oh, Oh my god. Oh cool, my unarmored skill increased. You're him, aren't you? I've never seen Karius outside of his... like... thing, but... Okay, you guys are just guards. Is your boss nearby? Please tell me he is. Okay, maybe you're lagging behind. I think I'm in the right place anyway. God, they're spread out, aren't they? They're like mile markers. Where is Carius? What's this about? Well, he's not there now. Man, I killed those guys for probably nothing. Luckily, most of my armor is still fine. Most of it. Probably in real bad shape, though. Just, why is this quest like this? We're at Fort Frostmouth again, aren't we? Can I wait? You know, I actually have a little more than I suspected. Five hours is expired. Okay, whatever. Did I just see that? <laughs> okay. And like... I'm doing this quest with a guide, you know? Like, there are some quests where, like, you use a guide and it's like... I'm trying to just think of an example here. Like, you use a New Vegas guide and, like, there's... Like, if you use a guide for New Vegas for, like... What's the quest called? The one for my baby? Like, there's no detective work. You don't run around and talk to NPCs. You just find out who the culprit is. Immediately bring the evidence to Boone... And then the quest is over, and like, you know, I can understand not wanting to fuck that quest up, because Boone's great. As NPCs go, I could argue, I could see it being argued he's a little generic, but in combat, his efficiency is well known. Oh, is it you guys? What is it? Report. I must say I'm surprised. I didn't expect to see the support in time. Like... What? Can I... Guys. Oh, of course. It's because I stopped for more than a second to speak to him Ugh. and again this is only a problem because the walk speed is so glacial hey my unarmored skill went up this is and like of course oh my 
God. And of course they've made it into like a, a character thing. They're like, no, it's not that the quest sucks. It's that the guy who gave you the quest is a dickhead. And like, look, I see why you say that. I see why you've done this. But this is still stupid. Like, why is there even a, a, a rule that this report has to get to him so soon to begin with? Do I have a... Like, I don't need to kill him. I just want to. I guess I won't, though. God, go to hell. Like... He, he set up a... You know, a stupid rule that I have to deliver this thing on time and then made it hard for me to find him on time just so I could get in trouble for it. And like... That's stupid. I don't know. Like, and it's not like you have a lot of choice about it either. Maybe I'm just used to the main game, but like, there is still like not enough choice in most games. But like, in this game, there's the back path where you can kill every main character, even Vivek the God. And as long as you leave one specific person alive, because he has something you need, specifically information so you can't just kill him and get it off of him, if you kill everyone else besides him, you're fine. And, like, that's a cool, smart thing to do. And I think you can even kill him after... I mean, I don't know why I need to spoil it, but... Assuming that you watch this after the game, like... Because I'm playing it after the game... But, like, as long as you leave um, the last living Dwemer alive, you can still beat the game through a system called the Back Path. And it was put in specifically for this reason. And, like, it cuts all the bullshit. You just get into Vivek City. You kill Vivek. It might be difficult at level one, but this game does have luck, so you could rely on tactical luck. I heard that phrase recently. I fucking love the idea of tactical luck. That's so funny to me. You got it to him? I expect he created the deadline out of spite, never intending my report to get to him before it expired. You've done good work. You brought us more time. Well, it couldn't get worse. Now the report's taken care of. We can move to other things. You've noticed the increase of Sprigans. Have I? Are there more Sprigans? Not sure what's going on. They seem to be gravitating towards the cluster of trees at the east end of the colony. Unfortunately, our plans demand we remove them. See to come in waves. At least there, there's at least one of them there now, and they will probably be more soon. Have you beaten them? Find this guy. He's at the, he's at the bar. So we're spriggin. What the hell are spriggins? Because like, I know in like D and D and shit, they're just like wood sprites. Wait, east end of the colony. That's like right, isn't it? Assuming like north map orientation. I know that like they're wood sprites, but like are they like Daedra? Do they just exist? There's a, a, a thing that isn't talked about a lot in Skyrim, but like in Skyrim, the giants, you know, of course they are like these huge barbarians who, you know, can't be talked to, but they have a language. It's unclear what they're saying, but the Dwemer were able to communicate with them, and vice versa. East. Um, and what's more, like... You know, giants farm. Giants carry their, their little guys with them around. The, the mammoths. They farm and herd mammoths. And, like... That's not something that, like, a stupid animal does. You know, if something can herd or farm, then it has more, like, sapience and intelligence than its peers. Obviously, because how could something be herded by someone less smart than it? You know? 
And they're the ones who do all that carving on the mammoth tusks. That's why mammoths in Skyrim have like those intricately carved tusks. It's because of the giants. Are you the Spriggan I need to kill? I hope so. Anyway, my point is, is that Skyrim almost treats the mammoths like a pest species. Like they're just like a problem that needs to be like killed. Spriggans near the eastern end of the colony. Never eat soggy well. This isn't the east side at all. Anyway, point is, is that giants are a little primitive and primal, but the thing is, is that they're not unintelligent, but Skyrim often treats them like a pest problem. And whereas you have stuff like, um, like, you know, dragons who are causing problems and bounties get put on their head to go kill them. Like the thing with that is giants are chaotic, uh, cha giants, dragons are all chaotic evil and want to destroy. That's just what they do. It's not even a, a question of, you know, is it right to kill a dragon? It's like, it's not right to kill a human, but dragons do it because they think we can be bullied by them. But like, you know, there sometimes will be bounties you get where they put gold on killing a giant. Okay, cool. I guess I must have aggroed them. Didn't I kill your husband? Not likely. Oh, it's Erwin Marwin's house. He's not in here, is he? Oh. Where's the save? Okay. Where's this one? Not that save. Okay, well, where's this one then? If it's not one thing, it's another. Okay. I just need to go kill Spriggins, Spriggins again. So I stopped recording like 30 seconds ago and just walked out of the village. I think I just might have found them a lot faster this time. And like, I should have really seen this coming, but the fact that he says they seem to come in waves is just like that this is a shitty tower defense, you know? I can save, right? Nope. Why did I try that anyway? Well, maybe I can do this, huh? No rest for the weary. This is just a minor comment on the killing of Spriggans. But, like, I just want to remind everyone how annoying it is to actually kill Spriggans. Because, like... The fact that they... Normally this would be, like, a thing where, um... So I just had to tad back into OBS. Normally this would be a thing where like, they just have more health. But that isn't the case with, with Spriggans. Like, the reason that they're difficult and can keep going is because they revive with their normal health bar. Which means that it just always takes longer to kill them. Because instead of you just killing them, and then their health bar is empty and they die, you kill them and then you wait for this long ass animation to play. And then when that's done, you do it again. Whoops. Oh, I'll just fucking walk. I don't want to do it again. And save, right? I thought I had my heal ready.
Anyway, point of order. Um, Spriggans can use magic. Now, granted, there are some things that are magical and are not, like, sapient. But usually that's, like, a blessed animal or something that's related to a god. You know. But, like, why is there a, um... What, did it, what is the deal with Spriggans? I've never looked into their lore because they're just like some random enemy that's sometimes difficult to kill, but not really. I don't know. This game's weird. Alright, now I need to find the bar. It was where I killed that guy, and everyone thanked me and thought I was cool. Sorry, I can click faster than I can read. So it's usually just better to click on a door, realize what it is, and then leave. Especially considering the load times are pretty quick. This is a house. Well, I've narrowed it down. Why does this guy have a two-story house? He's not standing in front of it, is he? That would make sense. Oh, I killed your husband, right. I'm listening. Oh. I'm looking for somebody ugly. Snow. Oh, on the former. That's interesting. Uh, some sort of magical heebie-jeebie, that's my guess. We can't start on the building orders till the trees are gone. If we could get at the roots of something, we'd have to do that from underground. There's got to be a way underground, too far for... They've got to be underground too far for us to dig to. Tough as the trees themselves. That's the work is in the mine, but it's dark down there. You're an asshole. You live in a mining town. Well, let me just, why don't I just check right here? This quest is called Raising the Forest on the wiki. It's, uh, huh. Alright. I just wanted to check to make sure I was doing the right thing. My figured that, like... Look, we can probably just be like, hey, look, we can just... Talk to some guy about it. I thought one of those ebony deposits was a guy's like head and hair. The lighting made it look like... Whatever. Roots. We had a real problem with those. Whole passage of the mine blocked off by them. We couldn't get hacked through them. Wasn't worth the effort. Gave up. You can see for yourself the down at the bottom of the northern passage. Discovered it was full of tree roots. Pour the mine until you find a door to the abandoned mine shaft. Okay. This one's a little better. I honestly feel like it would have been better if they had cut dealing with Carnius. Like, if they just... said, look... just... whatever, you know? And there was, like, a whole thing with, like, how would you do it? I guess you would just be, like, Carnius would say, we'll go talk to Falco and never come back to me until the very end. And, like, maybe if you were, like, broke, you could go back to Carnius and, like, be like, hey, I'm out of money. Can I have a stipend or something? And, be, and he'd be like, oh, sure, sure. Falco must not pay you enough. And, like, it works if you have, like, zero gold in your inventory. Like... The quest isn't exactly, like, great just because they added this split in it. And, like, the split happens so, like, late. Like, it feels like it happens, like, halfway through the middle of the quest. 
this lighting system sucks. So, like, you can really see it here, where the light walks up the tunnel a couple of feet at a time. Like, God. I think I started to talk about this earlier, but never finished my thought process, as I want to do. But uh, I'm watching a playthrough of Silent Hill 1 right now, just because I felt like it. It was recently... Um, oh, yeah, I, I think I started talking about this, but never finished it. Specifically that I was watching uh, the now-defunct LP Supergroup Best Friends Play. I was watching their Shitstorm of Scariness videos. Wow, and they found a little thing to drink. Good for them, but we still got to cut them down. I should let Uno know about them. Anyway, um, in Shitstorm 6, they do three videos of Silent Hill 1, just because they love Silent Hill. And because that's in the Shitstorm, you just see like a chunk of Silent Hill 1. And it's not like a small chunk either. It's a pretty sizable chunk. It's the whole, like, first area. And I want to say that there's only, like, four real areas. I think there's school, hospital. It goes to, like, nowhere at the very end. Oh, God, it's been too long. I guess that's why I'm watching the LP. Anyway, it is staggering how in the first couple of minutes of Silent Hill 1, you see better lighting than this game. And I think the difference between these two is, like, three years? Now, granted, Morrowind is a much larger game than Silent Hill. Both do have something of an open-world thing. But Morrowind is decidedly much, much bigger. Where are you? Here you are. Roots. Can you take me to see them? Oh my god, I have to go there again? Now we're getting somewhere. I thought you were afraid of the dark. You just didn't want to do it. I hope you like all these corpses I put here. I should start doing that. I should start dragging people all the way to here and just kill them in this town. It'd be really cool if you could just, like, start killing people and be like, well, that's really unfortunate that, um... You know, that this guy got killed. And, like, if you weren't seen... Like, if you were seen... Uh, or it took you, like, too long to kill them... You'd get, like, a bounty and, and get expelled and stuff. But, like, if that wasn't the case... They would be like, wow, such mysterious circumstances he was killed with. Well, I guess we have to do something else now. Go ahead. What I'm getting at here is that I would love to just kill Carnius and solve my problem. It's the tomb. No one says the bee in tomb or womb. Like, I, I go out of my way to pronounce it because it's there. I wonder why that is. I know that there was, like, apparently this committee in, like, the 1800s or something that was just devoted to, like, punching up English. And that there was another thing uh, where, like, there was an era where words weren't... I think it was, like, the French monarchy. The French king had employed, like, people who... Yeah, I think the French king employed people who were paid by the letter, and so they just started adding a bunch of, like, letters to shit that you didn't pronounce, and it was when, like, the spelling of things... Looks like the place. The roots probably extend all the way up to the trees at the surface. No, they actually stop, and there's different roots from the tree. What the hell do you mean? This is the right place. Maybe I can do something about it. We can try poisoning the water. Well, that sounds like a thing that could never, ever go wrong. They're weakened. The trees might fall. I need bitter green petals. Can you get some? Bitter green petals. Okay. You actually have to go back. Like, you actually have to go back to Morrowind. Alright. I just added five petals to my inventory with console commands, because fuck that. 
Nothing more than you can do. Why not tell the boss? Well, I will. I... Like, I know I can do it. I could cast a mark spell here, because I think I even have one. I just don't have recall. I could try to get a recall spell in between here and uh, coming back. But I would have to go all the way to Morrowind to do it. Because there's no place to get them on the island. Like, is that a weird choice? That feels like a weird... Like, why would they make it like that? It's like, well, you're, I'm sure you're having fun doing this DLC. Huh. Does the sword's weird lighting not work here because it's being lit semi-dynamically by those torches? That's weird. You know, I'm sure I've gotten lost in here like 10 times. Maybe the map is just that crazy. Nope, it's pretty simple. In that case, I just got lost. But why would they... Grove of Trees, that's good to hear. When they're gone, the Spriggans won't... You know, aren't you supposed to be, like, against murder and shit? Like, isn't that your whole deal? Between us, we just might pull this off. You'd think you'd be against just dumping acid into the ground. We must do something to protect the colony. We have to hire guards. It's only fair that others take up the responsibility. Not something I would be willing to order any of them to do. See if there are any volunteers. Hey, will you be a guard? <laughs> well, if it isn't you are you in this town just for, like, the big dudes? Because honestly, I understand that. Oh, Lord. This place sucks. Okay, wait. That seems like a choice. Oh, God. Okay, so there are people in town. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of I was kind of curious if if like the joke was that there was like no one in it in here that would actually do it. Uh I do. Right, you're on your whole thing about the Falmer and the Reichlings. Glad to admit, this mining stuff isn't for me. Not that I mind hard work, but I'm not enjoying it. Nothing to lose, I'll give it a try. Well, you could get killed by all the awful, awful things on this island. Unless you're a level 40 whatever you are, you're probably going to get your ass whooped. Has anyone ever, like, thought or talked or thought about that in, like, a video game? Like, I know that stuff like KOTOR or, um, it's not Neverwinter. I mean, not that it's not Neverwinter, but it's a specific one. Planescape. Planescape, KOTOR 2, or Disco Elysium talk about, like, uh, like kind of like video game logic stuff applied in, like, a, a real way. F Tavern and Garnus, east of the main town. But, like, I wonder if anyone's ever done anything with a concept of, like, the main character is a higher level. That means that the whole game gets harder. You're looking for volunteers? Never want to turn down an offer? Got me this far? Now I can go further. Sure, I'll accept. All right. The last one's in the mine. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Kind of an interesting isekai. Like, I know that, um, although it probably wouldn't be an isekai. Isekai usually, like, I remember thinking about that. Yay, back into the mine again. You be skip, by the way. I remember thinking about this when I was watching Shield Hero, back before Shield Hero got, like, really problematic. 
Because, like, you know, at the start, it's just kind of problematic. But it just, you know, continues to double down on that. Um, I was just thinking about how, like, Dragon Quest everything is, you know? Like... I really wonder about that sometimes because like how many isekai actually feature shit like level grinding and like yes it, they that is a thing that happens in real video games even today but like the the just the method of like level grinding to buy equipment so you can level grind more to buy more equipment is like so like ff1 or like uh dragon quest one interesting news telling someone the other day this place needs someone to make sure it's safe Looks like I'll chance, I get a chance to put money where my mouth is. Yeah. You know, I hear put money where mouth is too often. I, I, I want to see, I want to see more variations on that, you know? Like, what if that guy said, looks like my ass is finally going to get a chance to cash the checks my mouth's been writing. More verbose to be sure, but... You'd remember it. If somebody said that to you, like, in casual conversation, you'd be like, holy shit, that guy means business. I'm going to try to say that in a day-to-day, -day, like, activity from here on, you know? Well, it couldn't get worse. And somebody's going to be like, holy shit, that guy means business. <laughs> All right, I've finished. Who do we have? These three check of fucks. Excellent. I'll see you to it. They're outfitted with the gear. Thank you for doing this. Take a few days to get the guards trained. All right, well, I guess I'll... Uh, wait. How hard can it be? You outfitting them with swords? Because you should really outfit them with spears. A few days. Do you mean few like two or few like three? Great. Yeah, that was one of the things that was like weird about Shield Hero, about how they put in level grinding. Like, a few what? Okay, a few usually means like three. I guess my journal will update, right? Man, the mainlanders must think I'm dead. How many days have I been here just waiting for these quests to... Huh. Oh, I see. There's a note on the wiki page for this quest that says, the quest will not be offered until you leave Raven Rock. Hey, cool. Did I tag that skill? <laughs> I just literally have to leave the whole thing. God, this game, dude. All these silly little quirks. Why are you all the way down here, dude? You're not even him. Oh, you, you got turned into guards. Cool. Uh, I'm going to ask you to stay close to me. I've heard rumors I'm going to be assassinated. As you imagine, I'd like to protect that. It's not that I value my own life highly, but without me here, there's no one to oppose Carnius. Stay close. We'll figure out what's going on soon. By close, do you mean like the next 10 minutes? Okay. Oh, fighting words. But there's a guy. Okay. Oh, him, right. Carnius, no. Dude, you're the one who's running away from me.
Looks like I won't be assassinated today. You protected me well. I appreciate it. Take this. It's the only one like it, so far as I know. Ice shield. Wow, that thing's ugly. What? What's over encumber? Oh yeah, this thing. Throw it on the floor. I don't give a shit. That thing's cool. Here an assignment. Done more than enough for now. Get me from being assassinated. I can't thank you enough. Give us a day or two to get back on our feet and then come see me. You got it. All right. So this one, I think you can just wait. <laughs> yeah, you said it. Hey, my journal got updated. Cool. In his effort to make my life as difficult as possible, Carnius has sent word that several long swords has arrived. He refuses to have them sent to us. Can you go get them? Constance Atreus should have them at Fort Frostmouth. Sure, man. Whatever. How many... Is this this is another trip for anyone counting. This is another trip between here and there. I know that I'm like I literally was like, okay, I'm just going to go do a couple of like filler episodes while I do the East Empire stuff, but like I have interest in building Raven Rock. I talked earlier about how I do like the settlement system in Fallout 4 a little bit. Um and can understand or appreciate something like that in Elder Scrolls. It'll be your blood here. This shit's kind of cool. But like, kinda? I don't know. I kind of already have a really good shield, but the problem is, is that it keeps breaking on me. So maybe it'll be nice to have a different shield on. Oh, you know it'd be funny? If I ran through this pack of wolves and got them all mad at me. <laughs> I saw a screenshot today of a game that was like a CRPG. Uh, more one like a CRPG, which was a really interesting idea to me. Sorry, I got, I got off topic from my other thing. But I was like, yeah, what if there was like a, a game where like... or. Uh, something where you aren't the main character but the world is still level balanced around the main character like you know a literal case of it's his world we're just living in it and like the main character got a level and everyone knows it Did you want uh, hear about the swords well here you go I don't know there'll be much help to the likes of you right how many booze on me uh I do I'll take some matzo so you guys got rid of this trap in your carpet. That was nice of you. Anyway, yeah, like everyone in the world hears the hero's like little level up jingle, and it's like, <laughs> like it's like the bells of doom. Even though it's like this like nice little like ding ding ding, because like oh shit, the hero just got stronger. That means that everyone else in the world will also get stronger to match him. But it means that, like, the random goblins and the little, like, wolves that try to eat your chickens and, like, rando bandits just, like, out on the road will now have, like, god-slaying weapons and stuff. <laughs> That'd be really funny to me. I wonder if there's anything like that in Skyrim. Not that, um... Like, a literal example of, like, game mechanics. Oh, Lord. Game mechanics interacting with a plot like that. But, like, um... 
I wonder if there's like a scripted quest that somebody's supposed to like kill a bear. Or actually, I think bears are like... Anyway, like someone like tries to kill a bandit. And like they fail because the bandit is over leveled because you got too high of level. That'd be funny. There's probably considerations to deal with that. Like in that first quest where you see a guy become a werewolf for the companions. Spoilers for a now 10 year old game. But like he kills members of the Silver Hand. Because they're dreadfully unequipped to actually kill a werewolf. They're spec for killing undead but they don't know that werewolves are not the same thing. Sorry, I was just focusing on hardcore. Oh boy. Greetings out there. Ah, welcome. Uh, Do I know you from some I hired you. It was this whole thing. Alright. Now where is... Fa here he is. We're the victims of a skull attack. I don't understand. We never had problems with them before, but ten or so attacked us immediately after you left. Put up a better fight than they were expecting, and they took refuge in the mine. There are workers. Go in and make sure they're safe. Kill the Nords you have to... You know, they're specifically skull. You don't have to drop the... You know, specifically like... So, um, I'm just going to put these here because they are consistently over encumbering me. You're growing weak. Huntsman axe. I don't know if I ever finished that either, but earlier there was a discussion where I was talking about how I love the look of Stallroom weapons because a lot of them are barely like work, you know, like they're still lumpy. Because, like, we can we can do all kinds of stuff with Ebony. But, like, Stallworm is still so impenetrable and hard to use and tough that, like, even our best smiths still make a, like, lumpy weapon out of it. I'm gonna have to pay to get my stuff repaired again soon. I'm glad I decided to go with a smith. You, should have picked an easier opponent. you know, these skull all have very cheap weapons. A lot of them had, like, real armor. I kind of love how a lot of the Nord faces just look like... Oh, fuck, how many was that? I wasn't counting. I will bathe in your blood. Just like a, like a photograph of, like, Orlando Bloom just, like, stuck on a face. You should have picked an easier opponent. Like, this guy. Just looks like they glued Orlando Bloom.jpg to his face. Killed them all? Wow. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. I should play Spyro for the channel at some point. I should find a friend who loved Spyro, actually, and play it with them. Try to think. Because I know that Robert was a Nintendo kid growing up. Robert, if you're watching, and why would you be? I don't think you are. But we should fucking play Castlevania together. Most of my videos with more than one person are um, with my wife. But I've done a few other videos with some other people. A few and far between, so hold on to them. And none of them are like full LPs as well. Mostly D and D stuff, a game that I really have the opportunity to play. Thanks to this pandemic and uh, all the friends I've become estranged from. Far too much of my sad backstory comes out in these LPs, specifically Morrowind. Okay, I gotta remember those silver swords are in there. Well, 
Simon, something about the skull attack doesn't seem right. They're all dead? That doesn't make me feel better. It doesn't add up. There's no good reason the skull would attack us now. And something about them didn't look right. Check all the bodies. Oh, God, did I... Oh, God, there's a specific one. Can I load a save just in there? Fuck. No, not that. All right, safety save. God, I was checking the first few. I guess it figures. Bring him. Vegan. <laughs> Imagine being like, hey, you're a member of a minority group. I need you to go fake an attack by a minority minority group. Like, that's weird, right? Like, hey, the Skull are all types of no Like, that's a kind of Nord. What if I hire some regular Nords and have them pretend to be the Skull, you know? Slam dunk. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Whatever. I guess the deal with Carnius is that he's supposed to be, like, unscrupulous. He has no scruples. Alf brand. The abandoned shaft. Toralf. Oh. Land somewhere northeast of the colony. Wait until Galena Pitchblend has left the site. He can't be identified based on the descriptions previously provided. What does that mean? It means they can't say, oh, he's a dark elf with red hair. Because it's a character it's a creative character. Kill every living thing in the colony. Leave behind skull weapons and armor. There needs to be an evidence. There needs to be an orgy of evidence to the Empire investigate. Payment will be delivered at the designated mean point. Once proof of completion, yada, 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 yada. Man, I, uh, I once, uh, tried to play through Skyrim on legendary difficulty, which I will do for the channel as well. I know that it'll just add hours to the playtime, but... I kind of like the challenge. You know, sorry, let me finish the story. Anyway, I took an I took an item from a woman's house. I think I was stealing alchemy ingredients, um, just because I needed them to make poisons to help me survive the fights. And she later hired assassins, and like, the assassins like slow walk towards you until they can get you into dialogue and say, "Hey, we're here to kick your ass," and then they try to kill you. And, like, those assassins are no fucking joke. On the highest difficulty, they do a lot of damage. Three blessings. It's kind of wild. Assignment, skull attack. What's this note? This was on one of the Nords. Let me read it. Well, it couldn't get worse. Sure. We've been had. This wasn't a skull attack. It was mercenaries dressed like them to fool us. If they'd succeeded, the whole thing would have been blamed on the wrong people. The stinks of Carnius. Oh, what? Just because the note was signed by C? It's time you confront him. Show him the proof you've got his involvement. Okay, well, he's back. He's allegedly back at Fort Frostmouth. Okay. Let me just wait to get my stems back. Oh, yeah, they're building a little little retaining wall here. Okay, these textures don't look great. They look stretched or squished. But it's fine. Ignore me, please. Anyway, yeah, the assassin dudes in Skyrim on Legendary are, like, no joke. Like, they make me actually reconsider stealing from people. Because, like, 
you can't deal with the like hitmen very early on. That's kind of wild. But they just slow walk towards you until they engage you in combat. So like I kept having to like walk around them and like trying to get them aggroed onto other things in the environment and like the guards don't help you because why would they? And like that kind of flies in this game because like assassination's legal, so as long as you have the like writ and like if someone in full Dark Brotherhood armor who is like a local, I guess, because you can wear Dark Brotherhood armor and they'll still try to arrest you. Go ahead, stranger. Um I don't know if I've never done the Morag Tong like quest line. I don't know what the extent of it is. Let's hear it. Hey, you're back. I'm surprised to see you. You weren't supposed to survive the attack. You ruined everything, you realize. All that work and the money I spent to get that equipment and those men here, all of it wasted, and it's your fault. Surrender now, I... Oh. Was that a Stalra Mace? Word. Oh, his health's regenerating. Wow. Kind of tough, but he doesn't have very much armor. <laughs> Dude, if I could get him. Oh, God. You fool. I actually heard somebody earlier, um, I said earlier, but like a couple of days ago, like on, um, just on a forum, like talking about, uh, I have like a money books. Here we go. Fortify strength. They were just like talking about um, using the runes in Skyrim, like the the destruction runes. They let you lay traps and like, considering your only other defensive options are blocking or running away, like they leave kind of an interesting place in the gameplay. Stalrim maze, Cha ching and pants and shoes. Um, I guess I should go talk to the guy. Oh, God. I'll leave the ebony one on the ground. Did anyone want those, like, silver swords? Bless spear is good. Hope's fire is good. Ah, this is generic. I can leave this on the ground. What's in here? Helm of Wolfheart. Sneak. Oh, this thing's totally busted, huh? Well, it's cool and all, but I'll leave it on the ground. Sorry, I have a better shield. That's something that's really unfortunate and kind of annoying about this game. Like, it's it's the case with a lot of RPGs, but, like... I was playing Hollow Knight, and, like... I've almost beaten it. It's very, very good. I'll probably have beaten it by the time this is out. Um... The way that Hollow Knight gives you stuff, everything has weight, and that's really nice. It's really, really well done. And, like, that's the case for a lot of uh, Metroidvanias, but, like, Hollow Knight is one that's recent, but I was behind on it, so I hadn't played it yet, but don't mind me. Point of order is, like, every time you get something new in Hollow Knight, you're like, oh, shit, because, like, it goes on a new button, or, you know, it's, a, it's, it's either always an upgrade, or it's a new ability that is unlike anything else you have. Like... Until now, you haven't had the ability to, like, dash, or super dash, or jump, like double jump. And so, like, in, in the sense of... Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that I can save. Hello, bear. You, will die where you, stand. 
You guys sound like total Karens. Just may I say. Anyway, point of order is in Hollow Knight, everything has like significant weight and it's like, oh shit, I have one of these now. But like in this game, your carry weight is like kind of low. Like the maximum strength that you can get doesn't let you walk around without unenchanted Daedric stuff. You have to use a spell or else you won't physically be able to carry an entire set of Daedric armor. And like... Maybe that's supposed to be the case because the only people who should be able to wear it are like Daedra themselves. But like you let the player get it and it's not even like super, super rare. But, like, your carry weight is too low to justify carrying around all of the different swords that you get in this game or, like, a lot of RPGs of this type. Like, one of the cool things about Final Fantasy XV is, like, you know, you can hold every weapon, but there's a super attack that uses every weapon you have, like, floating around you like your Virgil. And that's really, really cool, you know? So, like, getting all of those swords just means that Armager has a bigger attack. And, like, instead of, like, three swords floating around, you've got, like, 20, and that's super cool, you know? Like, hovering swords is cool, but, like, in this game, you there's no reason to pick up this awesome, amazing, godlike quest reward unless you have to do it. All right. Do you have a... No, you don't. Why would you? Well, anywho... It looks like she comes with, like, maybe the logic in-game is that they, like, hire her off of the mainland. But, like, she's taken with us because we're the Nereverine, and, like, most people aren't. Karnas is dead? I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm happy he's dead. I wish I would have killed him sooner. You've lived through it, and Ravenrock would be a better place for it. Someone needs to be put in charge. I know I don't want the job. You're next in line for it. I'll make sure the paperwork goes through. You know, the factor of Ravenrock... Congrats. Damn right. Actually, I'll just leave it as we did it, y'all. What can I do for you, Factor? You're hitting me. Um, wow, what do we do? <laughs> Assignment. There's nothing that needs your attention. Let me see here. Oh, it's a three-day thing. Okay. Well, how long have I been recording for? Oh, my God. It's been an hour. Okay. <laughs> I hadn't realized that I've been recording for an hour. Uh, I hope the recording is okay. <laughs> Well, um, I've been Alfred. If the LP has been dragging, it's because we've been doing side quest stuff. But next time we're back on the main quest of the DLC, I promise. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you all have a good day. Bye.